its restore refurb works today we have a tear down and clean for this Razer Lancet wired gaming mouse let's have a look at the surrounding of it so basically there's a left and right click scroll wheel sensitivity uh, increase and decrease button sides buttons on the left hand side and the right hand side some rubbery grip on the side profile is a wired uh, mouse and for razor this pink series they call it a quartz uh, collection so uh, let's get down to tearing it down so i've uh, searched online after which uh, there's not uh, much detail tear down instruction for this mouse so uh, before getting this uh, video done right I have uh, made a few mistakes like uh, removing the skates uh, apart from the bottom I removed the top two and even the sticker so on later part of the video if you see anything that is uh, wrong that has been cut out please do not blame me thank you So you might see there's this uh, funny button at the uh, bottom right i found out that um, when you sync your uh, mouse on the razor app right you'll be able to create this profile for uh, example is it for gaming this game that game for work or at home from this button right you'll be able to choose the, uh, the setting the profile the shortcuts you have made on the uh, side buttons so removing the two bottom screws then um, after uh, trying to figure out where the other screw is it's here it's hidden under the rubber padding so luckily i have not destroyed the mouse and these are two really tiny screws never expected it to be there yeah. okay i got this mouse from a marketplace and it's advertised as a left click um, might not whole occasions so I've tested it and uh, the problem is when you click and uh, drag uh, it might go haywire so I guess it needs a replacement of the left, uh, left switch so uh, yeah so the top case and the bot uh, motherboard is uh, there's a ribbon cable uh, secure with a flip up retainer so be careful, use the tweezer, flip it up and it's good to go. Not very very difficult. So uh, first uh, impression, um, interesting uh, board. Uh, that's the signature razor switches. And yeah, I'm pointing to this um, uh, a clip that retains the top part of the shell. So you lift it up from the rear and it seems like breaking but uh, don't worry, it, it will it, part of the shell will come off easily so removing the four most obvious uh, screws that are holding the motherboard next we'll be removing this uh, screw that is holding the board uh, that houses the two led light that's shining through the scroll wheel so basically for this tear down there's three types of screw uh, the two side case and this um, LED light screw is the same, um, the back, the base of the screw is the same, and uh, the so called uh, motherboard uh, screws are uh, similar uh, type. So, there's this clip on the left and right, you need to pry it a bit using a fingernail or a spudger to re release the remaining part, the top part of the uh, PCB board. So as I've forgotten to remove the light first, okay, this should uh, ease it up. So from the base of the inside part of the shell, right, we see that the original material is black and it was so-called uh, treated, spray painted, whatever it is, to pink. So if you use it uh, thoroughly enough, eventually you will turn uh, black. So closer look at the PCB board, there's some uh, LED light. Then moving on to the front, right, the advertised uh, Razer switch that is capable of up to 5 million clicks. 
so I don't think so because um, when I received the mouse it was in really really clean condition so I wonder uh, it, have it achieved 5 million clicks before failing? So first of all, I'll be cleaning the braided wire uh, with some uh, IPA to yeah, remove some dust and yeah, dirt. Then next up will be uh, the usual cleaning of the edges of a, a top case and the bottom case. For this um, finishing the razor chosen, right, it needs a bit of uh, taking care because it's a matte finishing with a bit of a rubbery. I don't, I don't, I can't say it's totally rubbery. Matte finish with a bit of a, a rough surface. So uh, after having some chips or cherries, um, it will definitely stain. But it's quite easy to clean. Looking at the uh, underside of the top shell. There's the two more uh, ribbon cables uh, attached, so I guess this will be uh, giving the information for the side clicks. In total, there are four uh, switches over there, so you just need to release the U clip and the ribbon cable uh, slides off easily. Then next, we have these uh, four screws that uh, needs to be loosened it, uh, a couple of turns that is loosened so yeah something that uh, is not expected for the side buttons are fused into the case you can see here so I shall not touch it because I will destroy it Next, we'll have a look at this uh, secondary board uh, that houses the side button. So, it's some generic um, buttons. So, I can't tell what the logo is it, but yeah, uh, since it's at the side, it should not get a lot of uh, duty. So, yeah, I think any uh, good OEM switch should be up to uh, the work. Okay, for the top case, uh, same thing, we're using some IPA to clean it, paying additional attention to the high touch points, the sides, the seams that uh, collect a lot of uh, dirt and grime. Okay, moving on to the scroll wheel, right, so from some of the forums and when searching for solutions online i see that some people they posted um, why the wheel is not um, working so basically uh, most of uh, razor's mouse there's uh, the wheel center which is made of plastic then they put on a, a so-called silicone uh, ring on top of it so uh, if there's excessive amount of sweat or liquid um, uh, that seep through right it will cause a slippery surface so usually uh, removing it, removing the rubber silicone uh, ring, cleaning it uh, should do. We got this interesting printing on the board, Razor Sophia. So I guess uh, maybe the internal parts they brand the part number by uh, a lady's name yeah. and also you can see that the part that we are going to change later the switch are um, well soldered so I guess I'm going to have a, a difficult time uh, removing it next using the trusty brush we'll be doing some general cleaning with uh, contact cleaner so nowadays I've sprayed a contact cleaner on the brush, making it a bit wet and brushing uh, the front and back of the, uh, the board.
to some uh, uh, shots of me uh, removing the uh, switch um, I'm going to look for maybe um, a solder head with it, which is with a flat head so I can heat up all three points at the same time then it will be easier for me to remove the switch and of course I do have a, a so-called a third hand to hold out the board I'm just lazy to bring it up from the storeroom <laughs> pardon me So what I did is I've um, applied some uh, flux on the contact point, uh, add on some new solder hopefully to uh, uh, to smelt down the old solder. Uh, from there, uh, with some persuasion, uh, slowly we coax up the, the switch. So going to the assembly is a, a reverse way of the uh, tear down, uh, making sure that the rubber edges uh, fit nicely so that uh, later on in the closing part it will be seamless. Not forgetting the plastic prism, so uh, to set it back there's only one way it will uh, sit in so you never uh, Put it in the wrong direction. Setting the board in is uh, quite straightforward. So uh, here for the two clicks, making sure that it's in line with the four holes that you are going to screw in later. Installing the LED light for the screw wheel. There's this uh, plastic pin you need to set it correctly so it will be in place Then lastly the, the mini black screw to install Applying some um, silicone uh, grease on the part where the screw wheel and the bottom case shaft sits on so uh, I guess it will help a bit with the uh, smoothness of the, uh, the scroll wheel. Installing the secondary board, it's uh, the opposite way as well. Screwing in the four screws, then installing the two ribbon cables. So Razer is kind enough to make the uh, connecting ribbon cable long enough. So for some companies, if they do not want you to fix the 
item they make the ribbon cable really really short so while dismantling it you might you might damage it destroy it so uh, this is uh, good enough and uh, be aware that when installing the top shell the two clips at the tip of the left and right button needs to go in first um, I got it done after three tries so uh, when it's installed properly the whole case will sit uh, flush then afterwards the two uh, screws on the bottom two on the side that's covered by the rubber pad should be installed but before this I did some um, testing making sure uh, the clicking and hold function is okay the side button the screw wheel the lightings are okay before uh, installing the screws Towards the end of the video, if you have liked it, do press on the like button and if you have enjoyed the contents to keep more coming, do click on the subscribe button. Thank you. This is Restore Refurb Works. See you next time.